Hello everyone, welcome back to another video, not on Funko Pops or YouTubes today, but on a giant haul I just got in from yesterday. So, um, I guess without further ado, let's get into it. Now, the way I have planned for this to work today is we are going to start with some of the cheaper items, um, and work our way up to the most expensive item that I, um, got. So, let's start. Um, now, I ended up getting a bunch of minifigs, as you can see here. Um, just kind of like a ton of minifigures. So, I'll go through them one by one pretty quickly. But, first one I got was the original 2011 Kai. Which is a really cool figure I have been looking for for a while. And I guess sticking with the Ninjago line, I also got Jay. And Nia. And a skeleton guy. I don't know what his name is, if he has a name. Because I haven't watched Ninjago in a while. And the original Garmadon, which I also have been looking for this figure. Pretty cool. Next, I guess we will go to just some, like, obscure type figures. I got this random NBA guy, and I don't even know what he's from, honestly. I just saw that he had these cool springs in his legs. Um, so I thought he might be cool to get. Um, next, I also have this uh, dinosaur guy from, I believe, the fourth CMF, if um, I'm correct. And I originally thought that... Oh, I originally thought that the tail and head were one same piece, but turns out the head can just pop off and the tail goes around the neck, which is pretty cool to get two exclusive pieces there, I believe. Um, and also, we have the Rebel Trooper, which is just amazing. <laughs> I found this and I knew I had to get it, and I think it was only like three bucks or something, so amazing, amazing figure. Now, we have a couple Marvel ones left, and then we'll get to some sets and whatnot. I got the Ultra Killian figure, which I know you're screaming at your computers or phones right now. But, but, I just, I thought he's such a memeable figure with his white face and everything. It just, I had to get him. Okay, I'm sorry. Next, we have the original Hawkeye. Um, I do not know which set exactly this debuted in first. Um, but this is the one from 2012 with the original Avengers movie. Pretty cool. And last but not least, I got MJ. Um, and I believe she's from 2004 set of wave of sets from, uh, Spider-Man 2. Don't, uh, don't take that with a grain of salt. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, but yeah, pretty cool figure. I have been looking for an MJ for a while, so great figure all right next up let's see what we have i guess i believe this guy is up next so here he is i got this bionicle now no i don't know anything about bionicle but i thought he might be cool so yeah he came and this is the next couple stuff is some stuff that i've opened um that i've opened and built already but yeah so came originally in this seal and everything and yeah here he is I lift the tripod up give you a good view of him and whatnot there's the back yeah i've never really collected bionicle but that might be cool that's why i got this guy just to see what bionicle is like because i am not sure honestly if i've ever owned a bionicle so pretty cool now on to our next item which is a more recent set, but I got it because I have been looking for it. Let me put that there while I get the rest. Um, and I'm sure most of you already know what it is, but yes, if you did already call it, it is the new The Batman, um, Bat Cycle Chase, whatever they call it, superhero sets these days. I don't know, um... But it came with, and this was originally sealed in the box as well. It came with the Batman with the new armor and whatnot. I really like the armor. I think it's like the bat suit and everything. Very detailed and whatnot. So I am happy with that. Also came with the cow. Also came with the cow and another head. Pretty cool. Just the same as always, I believe. And then it came with um, Catwoman 
and I am not bothered enough to remember her actual name, so I am just going to call her um, Catwoman, because I believe that is what she is. And she also came with a little grappling hook. Actually, I don't know. I think this is Batman. I'm not 100% sure. <laughs> um, but I know that she came with this motorcycle type helmet. Pretty cool piece. Oh, and yeah, so this is Batman's motorcycle. Pretty cool. Has a little bat wing here for the steering. Just overall pretty detailed. I feel like the sticker could have been a little bigger because it looks too like blocky, I almost feel like, but still nice. Next, oh, we'll go up to the Catwoman's cycle. It's a little bit smaller, but pretty cool. Again, I feel like this is a uh, style I like a little bit more, but they're both pretty cool and detailed. And this little crate pops off. You can see the top there. And there's a gem inside, which is pretty cool. And yeah, so those are the main builds and then we also have a um bat signal which is pretty cool comes with a little battering off to the side and you can just kind of like like rotate it up and down whatnot and this is a glow in the dark piece which is pretty cool um i wish it was um printed instead of a sticker but i don't know if you can print on glow in the dark pieces still really cool though so <clears throat> Here's our second thing. Now let me get it off my desk. And bring up the next. So this I didn't actually open and then build it. This came open, but I thought, oh, it was pretty cool. It is a power miner set. I do not know the name of the actual set, but it, I thought the whole like power miners, I guess monster or whatever is pretty cool. So yeah, came with this big guy, his mouth can open. I'm not sure if that is an exclusive piece, but I have not seen it anywhere else. Um, I believe I got this for around like 30 bucks. Oh, and I also got the Batman Chase or whatever for around um, 20 bucks, I believe, which 15 to 20. I don't know if that's a good price, but I just had to pick it up because I haven't seen it anywhere else. And we have this guy from Power Miners. I love this little claw that he has attached, pretty cool his backpack and yeah just mainly this monster again picked him up for around 30 bucks i don't know if it's a good price but i thought it was worth it just because i've never seen power miner sets in a while and thought it might be cool so yep not much else here except for that little guy and yeah all right on to the next thing we are starting to grow in price a little bit um not too much but I then got this Ben 10 set, and it is called Spider Monkey. I uh, know not the Spider Monkey from Spider-Man Far From Home. <laughs> but yeah, I got this set, and I'm not sure if I should open it yet. It was 30 bucks, which I know isn't a lot, but I don't know if I should keep it sealed or not. Um, and yeah, I just, I remember the Ben 10 sets, seeing them in the stores and whatnot. I never got any of them, but I remember they also always looked kind of cool. So, yeah. Sorry. Um, yep, this is it. It is the Ben 10 Alien Force Spider Monkey. Yep, and that is it. Uh, let me know down in the comments if I should open it, and if so, I will do a review on this set. Also, tell me if you want me to do more LEGO reviews in general. I would be very happy to. And next up, kind of staying along the $30 price range, we do have a couple of sets. We have, well, this isn't really a set, but it is the Teen Great Britain minifigure pack. Now, I am from America, as most of you may know, and I was not able to get this because, well, I do not live in Great Britain. So, when I saw this, I thought it might be a pretty cool opportunity, and it was only like 35 bucks, I believe. So... Yeah, I thought I should pick it up. I don't know if I will be opening this, just because I am shooting for a pretty cool idea if I had a sealed pack of every single minifigure series. But I don't know. Tell me what you think in the comments. I might open it, might not. Let me know. Alright. Oh, just drop that. Now we are having a pretty big jump in price. 
from 30 up to about 90. So, next up, we have the Geonosian Fighter set, which I got. It was not sealed. Um, it came in, it was not sealed, but it did come with the original instructions and everything. So, I thought I would just open it and build it. Um, and yeah, so here is the set, as you can see. Um, I am currently rewatching the prequels, so I might not know everything about it. Um, but yeah, here we have two Geonosian droids, I believe. Again, if that's not right, don't quote me on it. And yeah, I really like how they did these head prints back, well, head, not prints, pieces back in the day. It was just like one, like, blank color. It's pretty funny. Can this? There we go. Okay. And here's the other guy. We're just controlling this looks like turret type thing. Pretty much the same, just with the the swing like piece. I'm pretty sure it's plastic connected to his head. And then here we have the actual Geonosian fighter. And this is pretty cool. I am trying to do a Geonosian display. Um, I'm hopefully going to get the Republic gunship. Maybe even a couple of them on uh, January 1st <clears throat> when I go to my Lego store. Oh, uh, but I, yeah, I think I might do a Geonosian display, which might be pretty cool. I don't know. Tell me what you guys think. There's the inside a little cockpit you can just put the figure into. And yeah, pretty small set, but set I haven't seen a lot of recently, so I thought I might get. And yeah. That is it for the Geonosian Fighter. Now, we are jumping up a little bit in price to around 120 bucks for this next set, which I am going to keep sealed. But <clears throat> here it is. So, this was a very old set. I don't know if it's from the 60s or 50s, but as you can see, it does have some wear and tear and whatnot. Why is this on here? Oh, this is where they had the, um, things. <laughs> and, yeah, it is a pretty decent and shape set. I, I want to say decent, but it is in pretty good shape. But here's the kicker. Oh, wrong side. All of the bricks are sealed. Yes, this is the original thing sealed, which is very crazy. <laughs> um, so you can see the side of it. And yeah, I picked this up just because I thought you don't really go to a store <clears throat> very often and see like a 60s Lego set that is sealed. So might as well get it. And I am pretty happy with it. So I am going to keep that one sealed. I think. Um, but yeah, now I think we only have one more item, and it is a big one, so let me get this off of here. And also keep in mind that the minifigures did cost from 3 to 8 bucks each, um, if you just wanted to price check me or anything. But next up, we have a open set, but bam. Now this, I do not know when it came out. I think 2000, I am not sure. Um, I want to say four, but I don't want anybody to quote me on it. Um, so again, take it with a grain of salt, rice, whatever it is. But this is a old like subway type train. And this, I, this I bought for around 200 bucks. And yeah, it is pretty, very cool. <laughs> As we can see the people inside and it's just a very i don't know why just something about it attracted me to it but it is very cool i am also going to use this as a display for the um subway fight in spider-man 2 with spider-man doc ock probably gonna put spider-man on the front right here or something but yeah very very cool set um as you can see you can open the doors and whatnot show you the inside there are some people sleeping down there so you can see over here and yeah pretty cool set so thank you all for watching this video has gone a little bit long a little bit longer than most of my normal videos but yeah
I hope you all enjoyed, and please let me know what I should do if I should make more LEGO content or what, what you want to see from me, and yeah, that's all for me. I'm out. Peace. I should probably stop this.